I'm Emily Ladroga, and welcome to Outside, Outside the, the Dog House. Today we'll, we will be talking all about the Wachusa Dirt Dogs. The Dirt Dogs are part of the Futures Collegiate Baseball League and play at Doyle Field, which is located at 160 Priest Street in Lemonster. This is the Dirt Dogs' second season, and we are all extremely excited. Our home opener is Thursday, June 6th at 6.35 p.m., and the gates open one hour before. Our tickets are very family affordable. affordable. Adult tickets are $4.50, and youth tickets are $3 for children 5 to 14 years old, and under 5 is free. At our concession stand, we'll, we will be selling popcorn, hot dogs, hamburgers, candy, pretzels, fried dough, pizza, and polar beverages. Our season consists of 27 home games starting June 6th and ending August 7th. There are also many different promotional nights we'll be holding, such as Christmas in June, Military Appreciation Night, and Digger's Birthday. For more information about our promotional nights, feel free to visit our website at www.dirtdogsball.com. The Wachusa Dirt Dogs team consists of 30 players from all over the country ranging from parts of New England to Toronto, Texas, Tennessee, North Carolina, Pennsylvania, and Illinois. We have two returning players from last year, Joe Asai and Jack St. Clair. Today we have two very special guests with us. Here with us we have John, who is the owner of the team, and we have Scott, who is the head of baseball operations. How are you both doing today? Excellent. Good morning, okay. Emily and Emily. Good morning. Good morning. So tell us a little bit about yourself and where you're from. Oh, for sure, uh, Emily. I'm from the Twin Cities originally, so I uh, migrated to uh, New England uh, back uh, you know, many years ago when I came to, uh, out to Vermont to go to college and uh, have been in New England ever since and now have a business in Lemonster that uh, for the last 20 years that uh, has uh, got me well entrenched in the, in the community and I enjoy this area very much. Hmm. So, um, Scott, tell us a little bit about what you do being the head of baseball operations for the Wachusa Dirt Dogs. Now, one time I actually told somebody that was baseball operations, and they came back to me saying that, oh, you have operations in your title, that must mean you do a little bit of everything. And that's, that's very true. Um, whether it could be merchandise or food and beverage, marketing, sales, uh, any of that, I. That, that's, that's part of baseball operations and that's part of making sure that the team is running smoothly every day during the off season and of course during the season as well and making sure all the games run smoothly uh, and to get, make the fan experience very excitable, uh, excited and enjoyable for all. Hmm. Now how did you become the owner of the Dirt Dogs? Well, Emily, it's uh, probably a, a story that would go beyond the length of the show, but uh, in a nutshell, uh, a couple, uh, about two and a half years ago, uh, the commissioner of the league, Chris Hall, contacted me at the suggestion of someone else, saying they were starting up this new Futures Collegiate Baseball League, and they heard I might be interested in a summer collegiate franchise uh, in the area. And one thing led to another. We looked at different field options and explored uh, what what the you know, league was intending to do, and I really uh, enjoyed my time with Chris and the other owners uh, that were starting the league, and I thought, you know, what a great opportunity for this area to bring you know, some pro-style uh, entertaining baseball to uh, a uh, part of Massachusetts that uh, you know, is really uh, has a great uh, fan base and uh, you know, enjoys sports and baseball. And, you know, that, uh, so one thing led to another, and here we are. So this year being our second season, we're really trying to expand and get our name out there. I know that we have a few really great sponsors this year. Can you tell us who they are and a little bit about what they do? Yeah, um, some of our biggest sponsors this year, one, um, just to name one, is, our, is Uno's. Um, they are actually helping feed the players uh, after every game throughout the summer. And we are very excited to have them join us this summer. And also Orchard Hills Athletic Club, they are giving, um, they're letting all their players and coaches use their facilities throughout the whole summer as well. And with it, that's giving them a, a top line facility, um, the, at, at least in my opinion, the best one around here. And we're very excited to have the players be able to use something along those lines of that. So again, as we mentioned, this is our second season. So what are you looking forward to most about this season? 
Yeah, Emily, I think yeah, you know, I'm looking forward to seeing how now that the fans really are aware of you know who we are and you know the uh, entertaining uh, you know nature of uh, you know the uh, you know the games and whatnot. Uh, you know, I'm looking forward to seeing the you know fan support, young and old. I'm looking to see how our roster comes together. We've got a uh, roster that. Uh, it you know, draws from all parts of the country, as you mentioned. Uh, last year, I think we only had one player outside the Northeast. Now, I think we have a dozen. Mm -hmm. you know, we have players that uh, are coming from major Division One programs. Uh, two of the players just finished playing this past weekend in the NCAA Regional, where they um, knocked off uh, one of the uh, top 25 teams before they uh, lost in the double elimination tournament uh, from the College of William and Mary. And uh, it's going to be exciting to see. I, I'm uh, interested to see if Commissioner Hall's uh, prediction uh, yeah, is, uh, you know, comes to fruition that uh, we're the team to watch in the league. So uh, we will see. That would be really exciting if we actually won this year and did really good. So I'm going to ask you the same question. What are you most excited for for this upcoming season? I'm excited to see um, all the this past off season we were out in the community. Um, not only in Fitchburg and Lemonster, but all, all over the area, uh, letting people know about the Dirt Dogs and where we play, who we are, and that we are a family affordable um, place, to, place to go throughout the summer. And the thing I'm most excited about is seeing the people that we, we communicated with throughout the whole off season, uh, coming out and enjoying some games at the field and seeing what we're all about. So obviously, you both um, working for baseball, you must love the game or love sports in general. Do you um, do you have a favorite sports memory or a favorite idea about sports? Emily, I've got a you know, number of favorite. I mean, some go all the way back to my youth. Uh, you know, my birthday's in the summer, and going out to the old Metropolitan Stadium uh, where the Twins would play for uh, not whole game day with my friends on my birthday, or uh, you know, catching a doubleheader with. Uh, Harmon Killebrew playing, or Rod Crew, or some of those great players, or the uh, 1991 World Series, watching uh, Jack Morris uh, spin a you know one nothing uh, you know game seven in front of his hometown fans, and uh, you know the memories just go on. It's a, it's a it's one of those great games. It's timeless. You know, there's no clock and mm -hmm. uh, very unpredictable. So, did you always see yourself working in baseball? You know, I just I have was a fan from the get go. You know, it's hard to when you're Young or even at you know, trying to figure out what you're going to do for a career, where uh, you know, where that might take you. But uh, you know the passion was always there. I always knew that uh, you know somewhere I would be spending time, uh, mm -hmm. you know, involved in baseball. Great. And you also, I know that you are a big sports fan. You've done a lot of jobs in different sports. What's your favorite sports memory? I have to say I have a few as well. Um, of course, the '04 and '07 World Series from the Red Sox. Mm -hmm. Those are definitely two of my top uh, top sports moments. Uh, another sports moment that, that I'll always remember is the only time I've actually won a championship on, on a baseball team was the last, last year I lived in Nashua, New Hampshire, and it was on uh, one of the minor league teams there. Uh, we had to beat a team, I believe, twice to be able to win the championship, and we played a doubleheader. We won both of the games, so that, that has to be another one. And then um, probably my last one would be one of my first Red Sox games. Uh, Pedro Martinez was pitching, and I believe, unfortunately, that was the game he got injured. <laughs> he pitched about four innings, then he was out the rest of the year, and that started his whole injury. Um, that He had injuries, but at the end of the game, it was tied. It went into extra innings, and one of the players hit a grand slam to a walk off at the end of the, at the, end of the game, and um, that was definitely one of the best games that I've been at personally. So again, we mentioned that this is our second season, so we're just wondering, um, what do you think is going to be different from last year and to this year? Well, I think the, uh, you know, I'm really excited about the coaching staff that we have to, to begin with. I think uh, Nick Barisi did a great job, uh, you know, taking over the coaching duties the second half of last year, and that's something that came out with our, our player survey at the end of the year that, uh, you know, the players really responded to Nick's style, and we've got uh, a young, uh, you know, local coach and Kevin Barnaby, who's joined the staff, who uh, you know grew up through the Lemister, uh, you know, little league and you know, high school system, and certainly a real fixture in the community. I know the you know the players will respond well to 
to him and then uh, Brian Davis has uh, quite a bit more experience than the two of them having been a head coach for uh, over 18 years and I think it's just feels like a, a coaching staff that will really work well with the players and and I think uh, you know we'll see uh, an exciting brand of uh, baseball we've got a lot of speed on the roster it's uh, you know we're going to be going to first to third a lot uh, we're going to steal some bases I know we're going to you know catch the ball and uh, it all comes down to pitching uh, you know we struggled with our pitching last year I think we've got quite a bit more talent this year and uh, you know hopefully uh, we're hitting more home runs than we're giving up which <laughs> wasn't the case last year so I'm going to ask you the same question also. What do you think will be different this season than it was last season? I know this year we have worked a lot on our promotions. We're doing a lot more promotions throughout the summer. Uh, we're like the Christmas in June that you mentioned, uh, mentioned mm -hmm. earlier. And also our military appreciation night where all, all people either currently or former military um, can come out and they can get in for free. And along with that, we also have many other different promotions like Digger's Birthday, which is on August 1st. And we also have beer nights this year. Um, we're at, we have 10 beer nights throughout the whole summer as well. And last year, uh, we were trying to do one, and of course, it, it got rained out that day, unfortunately. But uh, we are very excited to include those uh, in our schedule this year. And we're very excited about the promotions going on down at the field. And we believe that um, we're excited to have families and everyone come down to see the games and um, see, see what we've done new for this season as well. So speaking about the promotions, um, are there any ones you're specifically excited for? Or, or this question's kind of for both of you. I know that um, I'm really excited for Paint the Part Pink and Christmas in June, but just wanted to hear your thoughts on any specific nights. You guys I think you know, military it. appreciation night uh, you know, should be a special night uh, you know, to you know, recognize you know, all those who have uh, you know, made the commitment to serve our country and I think uh, you know, some of the, you know, one of the promotions that uh, you know, was very fun last year was uh, the Friday the 13th uh, costume uh, promotion. We kind of reoriented uh, that and we renamed it uh, Paranormal Pitch Out uh, so we hope to have a lot of ghosts and goblins uh, amongst our fans. Uh, on that particular promotion. I think it'll just be a, yeah. a lot of uh, fun nights at Doyle Field this summer. I agree. <laughs> I agree. Yeah. And the same, almost the same as you. I, the Christmas in June, I'm, I'm very excited about. And the uh, military appreciation night, I, I, we've been planning this for the past few months and we're really looking forward to, um, to July 5th when it actually happens. Digger's birthday is something we're trying to get some of his mascot friends to come out and join him as well. Mm -hmm. And it should, it should be a fun night. And there's also just a few, a few other ones. Um, there's one of the local nonprofits that we've teamed up with, the Knit and Pitch Night that we're doing. Uh, we're, we've teamed up with Warmer Winters and we're, we're doing that for them on July 19th. And there's also uh, just a few other ones too that um, that have come up throughout it as well, and we're very excited to to add all of the new um, the new nights that we have this season. Yeah, I think we have a lot of great nights. There's a lot of things that can bring all different kinds of people. We have '90s night, Diggers birthday, military military appreciation night. We have a lot of nights that can include everybody. So I'm really excited for it. So there are some group sale tickets that we have available. You can contact Scott, which is at scott at dirtdogsball.com. Group tickets, you can have an outing from your company, come in and buy tickets, and we can you know, make sure that you have a really enjoyable time at the game. There's also flex tickets available, which you can use anytime. You can use them throughout the season. The biggest package we have is 30 tickets and you can use them all at once if you want or you can use them throughout the season as well. Something else we're very excited for this season is all of our merchandise we'll be selling. So could you tell us a little about where our fans can get the merchandise and what type of merchandise we have? Definitely. Uh, there's actually a few different places that they'll be able to get it this year. Uh, one is of course at Digger's Dog Shop right at the field during all of our home games. We'll have our table set up with our merchandise there. We'll also have it on our website as well and that will actually link to uh, the local business that is helping us with our merchandise this year. It'll link right to our web store, which is run through their website, and it's with NEPA Blue Heron, 
and they set up our whole store for us and they also are actually setting up a area in their store uh, right off of I believe it's 300 Hamilton Street and you can go in there and you can actually purchase our, our all our stuff in there as well. So as you can see on the table in front of us we sell anything from baseball hats to our little digger juniors we sell t-shirts and just a great variety of um, snapback hats and adjustable hats. So we're really excited this year to have a lot of merchandise to get out to the fans. So could you also tell us maybe a little about uh, about our clinics that we're having this summer and how those kind of work out? Now our clinics, we have two clinics um, during the summer and they're the weeks of July 8th and also July 22nd. And they go Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Registration starts at nine o'clock the actual camp starts at 9.15 and will run through 11.15 for the camp. Uh, the ages for the camps are from age 6 to 12 and if you're to come one day you get it's, it's $25 and if you want to go one week which is Monday, Wednesday, Friday it is only $60 and if you pre-register uh, the, the player who will be coming and enjoying the camp will get a special pre-registration gift as well. So again, we're really excited um, for the season this year. So do you have a favorite memory from the team last year or something that was great last year that you want to share with our fans out there? Emily, there's a couple memories. There was, there's the memory of the un unpredictable on opening day when we were in the uh, middle of the game and uh, all of a sudden the sprinklers came on on the field. So we had the first ever Futures Collegiate Baseball League sprinkler, sprinkler delay for 30 minutes and uh, we got some uh, great photos of the players uh, wondering when the sprinkler system would go off because we could not find the key to the sprinkler system and had to wait for it to cycle through. And then another memory was when uh, we had a rain delay uh, later in the season and we had uh, the uh, Buffalo uh, Wild Wings mascot out and uh, the mascot and, and Digger had a little bit of a competition going and somehow uh, there was a chest bump and Digger ended up on his back and uh, <laughs> we concluded that at that point we needed Digger to spend some time over at uh, Orchard Hills or some yeah. other athletic club because uh, he was not up to the challenge. So we can ask you the same question. All right. uh, well, I think <clears throat> the, the most memorable memory that I have is last year during one of our games during June, uh, actually one of our returning players, Jack St. Clair, hit a walk off home run at Doyle Field to end the game in the ninth inning and it was one of those that his, his dad was actually at the game up until the seventh or eighth inning he figured out that he wasn't gonna probably be able to get back up at all for the rest of the game and he decided to head home and he got a call about an hour later or so asking where where his father was and he just told him that he had hit a walk off home run so that, that was definitely uh, that, that whole night was definitely one of the most memorable for me, mm -hmm. along with the others that John talked about as well. <laughs> Those are all great memories. Hopefully we don't have a sprinkler delay this, this year, but we don't want to have that. <laughs> to, um, just to wrap up everything, once again, our home opener is Thursday, June 6th at 6.35 p.m. Adult tickets are uh, $4.50. Youth tickets from ages 5 to 14 are $3, and children under 5 are free. So join us at Doyle Field, located at 160 Pre Street in Lemonster. Well, thanks for joining us on our first episode, and catch us next time on Outside, Outside the, the Dog, Dog House. House.